Lorient headed into the final game of the season on Saturday, knowing even victory over Bordeaux might not be enough to save them from a bottom three finish. Bernard Cassoni's men remained in real danger, having picked up just four points in the last five games, a run that has left them 18th in the relegation playoff berth, and a point behind Caen and Dijon in the places directly ahead. And they face a Bordeaux side still aiming to clinch a spot in next season's Europa League. Sixth could still provide it if BSV win the Cup de France. But given there's no guarantee, Jocelyn Govenek's side were here to win. Well, Lorient have spent 31 of the previous 37 weeks in the bottom three, yet they could still save themselves despite missing Michel Ciani, Sylvain Mavo, and top scorer Benjamin McCanjo. They came out positively, and only the post denied Jimmy Cabo the sixth of the season. Well, lucky that it found its way to the striker. Uh, but it was only misfortune that it didn't nestle in the net. Kovanek less than impressed, so he'd have been delighted when he saw his Euro chasing side forge in front. Seven minutes on the clock, then Yunus Sankari headed home. Benjamin Lecomte left with no chance as the Senegalese international fired home. The ex Gangon man signed from Lille in January and now adding goals to his powerful midfield performances. Concern for Cassoni. He had players that were willing to try and make something happen. Majid Waris trying to inspire a quick response. But the ball just not curling into the bottom corner. A whisker away from a tenth goal of the season. Well, Waris then clashed with Yusuf Sabali. Referee Anthony Gauthier wasn't interested. So the Ghanaian will feel a little hard done by. Certainly being clattered over by the Bordeaux defender. Lorient were knocked out of the season's Coupe de France by Bordeaux and had won just one of the last 11 Liga meetings with the Girondins. The failure to at least take a point here could have huge consequences for the club as a whole. Well, the fans were certainly playing their part. But Bordeaux went for the jugular at the start of the second half and had Valentin Vada be more accurate. He could have broken Lorient hearts. A real let off. And Lorient thought they'd found a way level only for a stupendous save from Cedric Carrasso. Benjamin Geno, for all the world, must have thought he'd equalized. But the veteran Bordeaux stopper doing enough to kick it off his post. Well, yet, with just over 20 minutes left, Lorient finally found a way to break through. Vincent Le Goff painting a beautiful picture with his first Ligue 1 goal since scoring against Bordeaux two and a half years ago. He certainly likes the Girondin. And it was wild celebrations inside Le Mestois. Waris proving a nuisance in the middle. And the near post strike with too much venom for Carrasso to stop. Bordeaux then went in hunt of a winner. Diego Rona inches away. Lacan doing well. Smuggle it away. Well, the pressure building as Bordeaux threw everything at Loyon. Sankari almost with his second. The squeeze past the far post. Final whistle, it was mixed emotions. Caen's late equaliser in Paris meant Bernard Cassoni's men will now face Trois over two legs to replace in the top flight, but at least destiny still in their hands. Bordeaux sixth, meaning they'll be supporting PSG next week for the Coupe de France final as they try and take a place in next season's Europa League. <laughs>